Welcome back to another video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kasten Cobb, kitchen designer and owner with King's Kitchen, and I am here to talk about another beautiful project I've done in the greater Tacoma area. Now, if you guys don't know, I actually really love to invest into real estate. So this was a personal project. It was actually a flip I've done with my business partner last year. Um, a really nice location. This home is located um, in a great area in Tacoma where you can walk outside and literally view the water. I mean, just stunning. But the house needed some loving. And that's what we did. And I'm super excited to walk you guys through the kitchen to kind of show you what we did and like how we saved some money but brought in some really cool finishes to make the whole kitchen pop. Super proud of this design. Um, so before we get started, make sure to like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel. If you're somebody who's thinking about designing and remodeling their own kitchen, if you're looking for help and guidance and like input on design and remodeling and tips and tricks and all that good stuff for your upcoming kitchen remodel, um, then this is the channel to be. Um, I'll try to stay really consistent on Friday videos. I know that. Um, Courtney, our marketing gal, is on me, but we've just been so busy. But um, I try to come out at least with one video a week um, with different topics to help you guys kind of design and remodel your own successful project. Um, if you have any questions throughout this video, make sure you leave your comments below. I'm happy to answer them myself. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this house, um, the kitchen, it was weird. Like the house itself had a really nice vaulted ceiling, but then there was like a weird eight foot wall that was separating the kitchen from the living area that made no sense. It wasn't structural. I mean, you could see through it on the top because it was a vaulted high ceiling. Um, it made no sense. So obviously we took out those walls and we wanted to create this really big open living space and just have a stunning huge kitchen that you can you know entertain and have guests over and that's what we did um again this was a flip so when you are working on a flip uh timeline is everything you know it's crunch time because a lot of times people purchase with hard money and um you you're in a bind like you want to get things done completed fast so you can save on interest payments right so that's what we did and you guys heard me talk about the 1300 cabinet line by belmont quite a bit and of course that's what i was going to use and quite frankly i work with a lot of investors real estate investors um and that's what we use we use the belmont 1300 line because it's a great cabinet i have the cabinet installed in my own house and i'm really excited about finishing up that kitchen so i can show it to you guys but I have the 1300 cabinet line, the APAC store installed in my kitchen, and I love it. So what I wanted to create in this design was just something different. I was not going to put a white shaker into this kitchen to try to adhere to the masses. I really like listening to my gut and I like designing things that are different and not like everybody else so yep i just went for it and um in this kitchen what i'm gonna do is show you the um kind of the layouts really quick and then a quick rendering and then in the end of the video we can go through before pictures that are like crazy and then um the after pictures of what it ended up you know looking like it's just super stunning right so um let's take a look at the top view of this kitchen uh, this layout already shows you the uh, wall walls removed and then what we've done was um, you know we just created a good working perimeter around the kitchen and created a really big um, kitchen island and we left really nice big walkways um, the living room and open living space was pretty spacious so I didn't want this kitchen to feel very cramped versus the living room and dining room being so open so we left wide walkways you can see we have a 48 inch walkway on the dishwasher sink side and then we have a 58 inch walkway over by the refrigerator side so it feels really roomy and this kitchen is designed for a lot of people working in it and walking around so having room on walkways is super important and then as you can see we have a sink station with a trash station so you know every designer usually wants to sit the sink have the dishwasher on one side and have the trash pull it on the other that's kind of um, a go-to solution if you can fit it we um, added lots of drawers in this kitchen 
and um, actually let me show you the elevation of the uh, let's start uh, with the refrigerator wall the refrigerator wall and as you can see we have a tall cabinet as a pan pantry there is no separate pantry room in this house so it was pretty important to add at least one tall unit for a pantry um, we brought in as many drawers as we could drawers or pull out roll out drawers because again the 1300 line is price conscious um, I think it's very affordable for like the things that you're getting and so I was not going to skimp out on this kitchen of not having drawers because usually drawers are more expensive than doors but I was like no we're, we're still going to add a bunch of drawers um, and then we have a tall unit well then we have you know the sink station here we um, on the next wall uh, you have a dishwasher sink trash pull out and then you have a tall unit for the oven um the wall built-in oven another thing i'd like to call out is um you know obviously if you're doing a new kitchen you might you know think about getting brand new appliances right but in this case i was shopping around and i'm you know i'm frugal i like to find deals like most of us right so i ended up visiting two um used appliance centers uh here in the area and um they were carrying almost a whole set of these really nice stainless steel appliances that were brand new so you can find stuff that is like brand new for a heavily discounted price and that's what i used so i used a single double oven um uh, for this cabinet we had a new refrigerator we had a new i think the only thing we ordered separate was the dishwasher um and then we had a cooktop oh and i ended up buying a separate downdraft for the cooktop in the island but i got those other three pieces for a really really good price and then i kind of designed the kitchen around that right so i was looking for appliances and then designed the kitchen around it so then in the island if you look at the front view you can see that there is actually some seating to the left of the island and i wanted to go back into the top view really quick to show you the island so the island if you're looking at those red lines the island width like the overall width is actually like it's over it's like 125 ish okay it's a really really big island i think i checked the size of the slab that i was going to use and i think the max was like 128 inches right so i was like okay i gotta stay within 125 uh, or 128 inches because i don't want no seams so i created this island um using or keeping in mind that i wanted a lot of seating so we don't just have seating on the back of the island we actually also have seating on the one side and on the front so if you're cooking and you maybe have one child or two children you know they can kind of also sit on the side here while mom is cooking and they can work on homework just because this island is so big um and the house is big and we had a lot of bedrooms so we wanted to make sure you know whoever ends up moving in here that we have enough seating on this island but also another thing was i wanted to save on cabinet money so i didn't want to plug in another one or two cabinets on the front of the island i wanted to shorten that section so i only went with a 36 inch cooktop based cabinet and two 24 cabinets left and right now this island has a downdraft so whenever you are working with a downdraft and the reason honestly why we had to go downdraft was number one there was no real wall to sit an exterior wall um vent and i'm sure not going to design this kind of kitchen with a self-venting microwave vent i'm just not a fan of those and they don't work great if you're like a serious cook um usually people are not fans of those um so i definitely was going to have a real vent so i designed this kitchen using a downdraft and when you're working with a downdraft you always need to create a half wall behind the uh, front row of cabinets or you have to go with a deeper cabinet and in this case the 1300 line i can't change the cabinet depth so i can only go for building that half wall behind it so you have enough room for all the electrical and the venting of your downdraft it will not fit in a standard 24 inch depth and i think downdrafts are probably the trickiest thing to install and you have to be really careful and make sure you have enough room so we've installed a half wall behind the cabinet that nobody will end up ever seeing because we have panels left and right and then we have panels 
on the back side of the island that we set even further back. And the reason why we set it further back is because I didn't want this crazy, crazy leg room underneath my island. I wanted my island depth to look pretty substantial, but I also, you know, wanted to create that deep countertop. I didn't want it to have this long skinny island, right? It's all about having the right proportion. So I wanted a nice depth that goes along with the width of this, this island. So we've, we set those panels intentionally further back. Now, another thing that we did that you cannot see um, really good here, I mean, you do see some posts, but we ended up creating some custom posts. So we had the welder, um, you know, drew up what we needed, made a, a, a pick list almost and some measurements. And we had some unfinished uh, iron legs and um, kind of like connecting iron pieces made to support the entire island. Again, because we have so much overhang, especially on the one end, that we really had to ensure that we're, we are supporting this island countertop correctly, right? So we did some custom island legs that we had ordered and then we brought them over to, the, to our local powder coaters and had them powder coated in matte black. So I'm super excited to like move into the finishes in just a, in a couple seconds and show you guys. So um, moving on, because I don't wanna make this video too long, but moving on to the rendering, here's a quick shot that shows you what this kitchen um, was intended to look like. And with that said, so we are using a combination of the Apex Black. So we are using a combination of the Apex Black door of the 1300 Belmont line. And you guys know I'm like so in love with this door because it's like the thin frame profile. It's like everybody loves this right now. And we're loving it so much like Belmont, okay, I'm not supposed to say this, but like Belmont is gonna come out with a new color of this door and I'm gonna get my hands on it as one of the first dealers and I'm just super excited. So we got the Apex door with the slim kind of frame. And then we ended up using one of the, um, the Horizon Grau flat panel in combination with the black. So just to show you here how well those two go together. So it's just a really cool, slick, I feel like a little bit more contemporary look, but because the Apex door has that slim frame, I feel like it's not super, super contemporary. It has like some eclecticness to it. So super excited about using these two in combination. And then another thing I wanted to call out is when you are designing your kitchen and i feel like we do that a lot with the 1300 line you don't have to pick all of your materials from your cabinet manufacturer if your cabinet manufacturer doesn't make iron shelves okay that doesn't mean that you are not okay with getting iron shelves there are many other suppliers that you can use and you can combine them and i think that's super important when you work with a really good designer that they know like all kinds of different suppliers and they can kind of take something from here, take something from there, and give you like this really cool end result. So when you're looking at this rendering, you can see those custom iron legs that we did. So I had those custom ordered, and because I saved a lot of money on the cabinet line, because it's not a custom cabinet line, I was okay with spending a little bit more money on my custom iron legs, because I knew that they were gonna make like a substantial difference in like value and look in this kitchen. And then I went on to Rich Lou, and I've ordered some really nice black metal ironed um, shell, like this shelving unit. It's like an open shelving unit and I thought it looked so nice and it just is a really nice like open concept. And um, yeah, so I put those things together. I'm not shy about using different suppliers and I think that's really important. Um, you know, again, like don't be held hostage by the catalog that one supplier has. Like you can use different suppliers. And I think that is just, you know, what kind of makes and breaks a lot of designs. So with that being said, I want to show you guys some before pictures of this project. And then of course the after pictures. And I think we have some clips that we can throw in here that we took on site. Um, obviously we also did like bathrooms in this house, um, everything. And when it comes to the 1300 line, I mean, I love doing floating vanities because it's clean. Um, a lot of times you have tile underneath your vanities, so it's super clean to, you know, just wipe underneath, like Swiffer underneath. That's what I'm kind of used to because most Germans have like 
floating manatees. So um, take a look at the rest of the video, see the before and after pictures. And if you guys have any questions, uh, make sure to leave them below. I'm happy to answer. Again, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And um, I also will link all of the selections below so you can kind of take a deeper look into the different uh, parts and pieces that we use in this kitchen. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.